Hello everybody, this is Joe, aka Druid Jesus. Here I'm going to be trying my hand at making a guide. I have not done this before, so I hope you'll go easy on me if it inevitably sucks. Uh, the purpose of this guide will be to help show people how to use the add-on Pawn, that's P-A-W-N, it's available on Curse, to increase the efficiency of their min-maxing and decide what gear is best for them to improve their DPS, healing, or tanking uh, output. The add-on uses scale factors that you can either use default that come with the add-on or import yourself to determine the value of a piece of gear uh, and it makes it very easy to just at a glance see if a piece is going to be better for you or worse for you by comparing it to your other pieces. <clears throat> Now, the way to use Pawn, of course, you have to install it first. Once you've got it set up, it comes with a set of default scales, as you can see here. But frankly, although the add-on is really good, the scale factors suck, and you can't edit them. So, I just go ahead and disabling them by unclicking the Show Scale and Tooltips. That way, I don't have to look at them. Uh, you can build your own uh, set of scales. But to do that, you're going to need some data. So the location that you can get that, of course, you can pull it from websites like Noxic or Icy Veins or any place that's really into theory crafting. However, those are usually run off of simulations using uh, theoretical best in slot, uh, heroic, or mythic gear, which probably doesn't apply to you, especially if you're still trying to hunt down better upgrades. So the best way I've found to get this information is to run simulations on your own character uh, using SimCraft. Uh, it's downloadable, it's free, it's really easy to use and I'll just give you a quick instruction on it. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is import your character into SimCraft. Uh, you can either just paste the armory link here or it starts out on the Battle.net page and you can search for your character. And see, you find it there. It loads it eventually. You click import, it imports it, you click simulate and it'll run it. It takes some time. I've already got it config I've already got it run, so we won't have to sit through that. But what one of the things you need to set up in advance is how you're going to get the scales. Now you have to enable scaling and here you can see all the different stats that you can tell it you want it to analyze. Uh, you can also just really quickly hit toggle all character stats. Uh, that's what I do. Now, if you're going to go for accurate scaling, you want to run as many iterations as possible. 10,000 will get you pretty accurate values, uh, but you can go all the way up to 250,000 if you want to get the most accurate numbers possible. If you want to try and min-max for a specific fight and you're really into this, you can choose length and fight style. As a tank, I just do patchwork because I assume any time that I'm not getting hit by a boss, I'm just not taking damage anyway, so I want to know what it's like if the boss is hitting me constantly. Uh, but if you're a DPS or a healer, there's also uh, more hectic settings that will include things like assumed movement or ads, etc. Now, once you've simulated it, you'll get a set of results that look something like this. And this will include... Uh, what it, what your estimated damage would be, your effective damage, a range that it thinks it's going to be in, um, a margin of error, etc. And then you also get some scale factors. Now here is the scale factors for damage taken per second for me. I've already got this in my pawn and I'm going to make a new one here so I can show you how. So I'm going to scroll down and add today the uh, TMI or Thek Malori index, I believe that's how it's pronounced to my pawn. So you can see I've got these scale factors here. I'm going to use the effective one. And I like to use the normalized stats pretty much just because I think they're easier numbers to work with and understand. Now I'm going to move that off there for a second. And I'm going to create a new set of scales here in pawn. To do that, you want to click empty under create a new scale. That will give you a blank slate to work with. So now you see here that I've created the scale. I've got the options to 
um, set the stat weights. So I'm just going to set here. Okay, we'll start out with stamina. And we pull this back over here. We see that stamina is 4.44. So I'm going to plop that in there. And then pretty much you just do that for the rest of the stats. Agility is 1, so that's really easy. And then you just go through and do that for uh, all your remaining secondary stats. You can do weapon damage, those sorts of things. Um, I'm not going to sit here and do that because it would get very boring, and unless you're an idiot, you've already figured out how to enter the rest of them. So, the next thing I'm going to show you is that you can import uh, a text string to show you the, or to add the values to pawn much quicker if you've already got it set up. This is one for Guardian. I'm just going to copy that. And this is the TMI. Uh, I, I took the string off of uh, Noxic, but I modified it to have my own values. And then I'm just going to import it from the scale options. And it updated it for me. Um, if you just want to update values, you can obviously change them in here. Uh, or you can use the text string to update them or add a new set of scales. Only other things I feel like you'll need to, that you should know, it defaults to only show upgrades. I personally don't think that's as helpful as being able to see the specific values, so I set mine to show scale values and upgrade percentage. And then for gems, it defaults to assuming you're going to use the best gems possible. Um, obviously if you've looked at the auction house right now, you're aware that rare gems are ass expensive. Unfortunately I haven't been able to figure out how to change the level of these gems uh, in the options or anything like that. So if anyone knows how to do that please leave a comment, we'll be happy to know. Um, but that's really all there is to know about using Pawn. And once you've got it set up it will make it very easy for you to decide if, as you can see here, a piece is going to be an improvement for you. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this and found it informative. Uh, if you liked it, please leave us a comment or a like, and uh, have a good day.